Hello and welcome to the 76th episode of the Sock Bunny Knit and Fit video podcast. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and today is Thursday, March 7th, 2013. I am recording in sunny Florida in the United States of America. Thank you so much for joining me. That wasn't creepy, was it? If you're a new viewer, thank you very much for joining me. And if you're a returning viewer, as always, thank you so much for coming back and putting up with my silliness. And I am Sock Bunny pretty much everywhere on the interwebs. I can be found on, uh, oops, let me get my show notes in order here. My show notes are on the computer today. I am Sock Bunny on Ravelry Plurk, Instagram, Google+, Twitter, iTunes, YouTube, and Blip.tv. My blog is at sockbunnyknitandfit.blogspot.com. The email is sockbunnyknitandfit at gmail.com. And my Etsy shop is sockbunnystudios.etsy.com, where you will find fantastically wonderful, magnificent, awesome, breathtaking yarn and fiber, hand dyed by me. <laughs> I'm a little bit hyper today. <laughs> this is going to be a short one, though, so I think I'm going to call this one short and sassy. Um... I do have a shop update going on this Sunday at 2 o'clock, March 10th. So what do we have going in the shop this week? Why, I will show you. Okay, I have um, two things of DK, two different colorways in DK weight. The first one is by special request. I have motel curtains in DK weight. And these are not quite dry yet. I just dyed on Tuesday and they're still a little bit damp. But this is Motel Curtains in DK weight. So one is going up as a special order and two will be available for you. You know you want it. It is beautiful. I honestly would love to make a sweater out of this. And that might be coming up. I'm really, really, really tempted to make a sweater out of this color weight. Okay. Um, also a DK weight. And the DK weight, I call it my sugar DK. It is a Superwash Merino DK. It's really soft. I've knit um, some hats and socks with it, and I really like it. Um, I also have Aurora Borealis going up in the DK weight. And I still have my yucky cotton ties on here. These are, like I said, I just dyed on Tuesday. And then I have a new colorway. This one I'm calling Vintage Tea Towel, and it's sort of accurate there. It's got like uh, greenish, purplish, brownish, grayish. I don't know what to call that. <laughs> but it's called Vintage Tea Towel, and this is on the Miracle Sock Yarn Base. And then I will have one skein uh, of this in Miracle Weight, Mi Miracle Base, and one in um, Sparkle sunshine base. There's the words I'm looking for. Uh, this is a colorway that I dyed specifically to look like the TARDIS from Doctor Who. And I used to call it Perfect Blue, but I'm going to change the name to Police Call Box. I try to stay away from copyright issues, but Police Call Box is something that is just a ubiquitous item in England and is not necessarily copyrighted by Doctor Who. Unlike the name TARDIS, which is copyrighted by Doctor Who. So I do not like to use um, copyright names, but Police Call Box I think is pretty safe. So like I said, there'll be one skein of this in um, Sparkle and one skein of this in Twisty, or I should use my actual names, right? Miracle and Sunshine. Okay. So the shop is at sockbunnystudios.etsy.com. I am currently having a uh, contest with my Facebook page. If you go and like my Facebook page, which I will give you the address for in a second, I am going to uh, draw a winner when I get to 200 likes. I think I'm around 80 something. Um, so the page is at facebook.com slash sockbunnystudios. Um, if you're not quite sure, if you can't remember, you can uh, send me a, per, a private message and I will um, give you that link. So um, that drawing is going to take place as soon as we get to 200. And I've been posting um, on my Facebook page in various places that um, if the person who wins is not a knitter or a crocheter, I will make them something. So um, tell your friends, <laughs> even if they're not knitters. 
Um, actually, why would they want to know about me if they're not a knitter? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Today's topics are fitness, finished objects, works in progress, knit and crochet alongs, tips and tricks, favorite things, and what I am watching and reading. So let's hop right into fitness. Um, in the Sock Bunny group, we do have a fitness along. If you work out any day, at least 30 consecutive minutes, you can post in the thread. And I am going to amend that um, because a lot of people don't just do traditional 30 minute workouts. They might, um, a lot of people these days use pedometers. And so what I'm going to say is any day that you walk at least a, um, 10,000 steps, which is equivalent to approximately five miles. If you walk at least 10,000 steps, you can um, post your steps. Just post like however many you did that day um, in the thread. So you still only get one um, post per day, but you can post, you know, either fitness minutes, 30 minutes or more consecutive, or you can post um, your steps, 10,000 steps or more. Okay. So more of you should be able to join. We do have a lot of um, people participating in this, which makes me super, super, super happy. And I have had people send me messages and tell uh, me that they would um, not have worked out some of the days that they worked out specifically because they um, they worked out days that they wouldn't have because they wanted to be able to put it on their poster or put it, put it um, in the fitness thread and have a chance to win. The winner is going to get either a $5 giftable pattern on Ravelry or they could pick something from my Etsy shop or I will dye something for them in up to three colors. I have a winner for February. I drew it before I started podcasting. The winner is number 179, who was Lady Fernico, I think is how you say it, Marlisha. She posted 14 workouts in February, so go Marlisha. That's awesome. Um, she is one of the hostesses of the Pen, Hook, and Needle podcast, so go check that out. She podcasts with her daughter, which I am super jealous about. Um, let's see. We do have a fitness poster contest every month. It's sort of long and weird, uh, not weird, but cumbersome to describe. So if you are interested in motivating yourself with a fitness poster and earning some rewards, then go check out that in the Sock Bunny group on Ravelry. I am doing Weight Watchers Online. I joined on February 14th. I am down again this week, down in weight. <laughs> and... Uh, as I have mentioned before, I'm doing it mostly to feel better. If I lose weight, that is good. I am mostly doing it, though, to help me. I really need to kick the uh, sugar addiction. Um, not a complete going off of sugar, because I don't think that's realistic for me, but at least cutting back. And also, um, not drinking Cokes has really helped, because, um, well, the last three Sundays have been Sundays of Lent, and I have had half a Coke on those three Sundays, and that's it. I haven't had any other soda at all since Lent started, what was it, the 13th, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Started the 13th of February. So I am very proud of myself. It's been really hard to not drink the Cokes. Um, I think it's good that I started this during Lent because otherwise I might not have the self-control that I'm having because um, it's really, really hard for some reason, and it, like, specifically, like, I went to, last Friday, I went to Bush Gardens for the day, and I'm used to drinking a Coke when I'm at Bush Gardens, or having a Coke float, and I didn't. That was really hard. I was craving so bad, and today, I'm craving really bad. I want a Coke really bad, but I am not going to do it. I'm going to be strong and drink water instead. <laughs> um... So I guess that's it that I wanted to say about fitness. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to let me know. Finished objects. I do have a couple of finished objects. One I cannot show you because it's for my Easter swap partner. But hopefully when the swap is all done, I can show you a picture um, or at least tell you what I made for her. So I'm making her a couple of things. I finished one of them. So, But I did finish something I could show you. Um, I am. Uh, we are having a sci-fi knit along crochet along which I'll talk about coming up but um, what I'm doing for the sci-fi knit and crochet along is I am making four dishcloths Doctor Who themed out of um, acrylic and then I'm gonna 
seam them together and make them into a Doctor Who pillow. And I'm doing them in pink. So this is the one I showed last week. It's a Dalek who's Doctor Who's mortal enemy. This week I did doc the Doctor Who logo. This one's sort of hard to tell what it is and if it's right side up or not. It's a DW. You can sort of tell there. DW, Doctor Who. Or as Dawn from Wolf Farm says, Dawn Wolf. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I ever told you guys my middle name is Dawn, so, and my maiden name is Williams, so it could be Dawn Williams. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so that's for the sci-fi knit along. This is made out of Karen Simply Soft, and I didn't bring the pattern in, but the uh, Doctor Who dishcloth patterns, um, her username is Holy Narf, H-O-L-Y-N-A-R-F. And also, you can just find them uh, linked in my Ravelry projects. Um, Dishcloths, to me, are sort of like palette cleansers or brainless um, knitting. Um, I really enjoy doing dishcloths. I like it because they're easy, fast, and you get instant gratification. So um, when I first started knitting, that was like my obsession. I knit a ton of dishcloths my first year that I was knitting, and they, they will, I think, always be my love. Okay, so those are my finished objects. Like I said, I can't show you the Easter one. And then my works in progress, my one work in progress that I still can't show you because guess what? It's not done. It is my bee leaf pie shawl that I am designing. And I don't want you to get the idea that this pie shawl is hard or long or whatever. It's just that I can only work on it a certain amount of time before my wrist starts hurting because I have to vary my projects or my wrist will hurt. And it doesn't matter if it's worsted weight or lace weight. If I work on the same weight of yarn for too long, my wrists hurt. I don't know why. If I vary my projects through the week, I have no wrist pain whatsoever. So I was trying to be monogamous with this. I just can't because it hurts. Um, I was monogamous all last week, and by Sunday night, my wrists were killing me. And I said, this is not worth it. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> That's all you can see. Um, it is going to be a paid pattern, but I am going to have a really fun way of launching it. So in the next few weeks, hopefully, this thing will be launched. I did earn a uh, bag that I had showed you before uh, because as I have mentioned in my fitness section I do uh, reward myself every 40 miles and this is something that was gifted to me by um, Amy who was this mom knits on Plurk and this mom knits too on Ravelry and she had gifted me this uh, project bag um, her Etsy shop is useful things E W E S F U L things. I don't think I left the business card in here, although I should have. Uh, but she had gifted me this bag, this project bag. So I have my shawl project in there. And wow, are these my colors or what? Orange and pink. If there was some lime green in here, I might have to get some lime green bling to put on this bag. Um, I love this project bag. It's super, super awesome. So uh, I will show you. She had also sent one to give away because we are going to have, I know I'm jumping ahead, but we are going to have a knit along um, with hand spun in, um, uh, from March 15th through the end of May. And she, I haven't unwrapped it, but she did send a coffee themed, coffee or tea themed um, bag. Oh, there's her business card. See, there I go. Useful things. E-W-E-S-F-U-L things. Um, dot etsy.com her name is Amy so thank you Amy for that so that's going to be a, one of the prizes for the um, hand spun knit crochet weave along uh, let's see um, for the uh, sci-fi knit along it's running through March 15th so you have another week um, let's see what day of the week is that that's going to be what I will do, it's probably going to run past the 15th. Let's just put it this way. Try to have your stuff in there by the 15th, but I think I'm going to be podcasting after the 15th. So let's just say, try to have it in by the 15th. If the thread is still open after the 15th, you can still post in it. Um, it just depends on when I get to podcast next week. I'm trying to get back to Wednesdays, which is my normal day, which I believe... 
Yeah, will not be the 15th yet. So uh, you have probably at least another couple of weeks. <sighs> Ignore what I just said. Try to have it by the 15th. If it's after the 15th and the thread is still open, you can still post. I'll close it before I podcast whatever the pod next podcast is after the 15th. <laughs> Um, let's see. What else did I want to say by that? The prizes for the sci-fi knit along are going to be some stitch markers by Courtney, who is Mermaid Bird on Ravelry and Silly Goose Knits on Plurk. And also I will be, uh, there'll be two sets of stitch markers and I'll also be giving away a $5 or less pattern. Um, Deborah Tomasello asked me to mention this and I didn't see the message in time to mention it last week but she's having a free sock color work mystery knit along in March in her group and her group is color works by Debbie so check out her group um, I'm actually in that group so if you are uh, if you can't remember what I'm talking about go look in my groups and you'll see her group uh, it's called color works by Debbie like I said it's a free uh, mystery color work sock sock knit along. Um, let's see, we have the Easter swap going on, so if you are in that, remember that your partner needs to have their item before Easter, so try to mail that as soon as possible. And I have heard from a few people that they've mailed their items, so thank you. Um, let's see, March 16th to the end of May, um, knit crochet spin with hand spun. Um, my friend Heather WB it has an Etsy shop where she sells her hand spun and I also sell hand spun in my Etsy shop. Her Etsy shop is the number four cats fiber and such. Four cats fiber and such and I will link to that in the show notes um, on Ravelry and also in the um, on the blog and my uh, shop is sockbuddystudios.etsy.com so uh, either one of those if you don't spin and you want to knit something with hand spun. Until you've knit with hand spun, you have not knit. <laughs> it's really that awesome, seriously. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Heather in her uh, thing, in her shop is having a coupon code STITCHES at checkout and you get 15% off anything in her shop. And like I said, I'll post that in the Ravelry group and on the blog. Uh, let's see. I didn't do any spinning this week. I wish. Um, let's see. Tips and tricks. There is a thread in the Sock Bunny Knit and Fit group if you want to share uh, tips and tricks that I can share on the podcast. I do have a tip this week that I stole from uh, Denise of the Knitting Den, and I started doing it. It's something I know about, but I just haven't been practicing it. Um, she was talking about um, ways to uh, encourage yourself to drink water, and she actually makes her pitcher of water the night before and knows that she has to drink that entire pitcher the ne next day. So I went and bought a special pitcher at Walmart that's really summery, and it's like teal and aqua and um, different colors. It's really pretty and bright, and it has the measurements of quartz and stuff like that. And I'm starting at... Um, half a pitcher and I want to work my way up to all the way drinking a whole pitcher a day so uh, last night I created my pitcher and I cut up a lemon and put it in there because I like to drink lemon water. Another tip for drinking more water is I like to have a special cup. Right now I'm just using a red solo cup or a, this actually is a hefty one I think and um, drinking out of a straw also. Um, I did see a really cute cup at um, Bush Gardens that is like lime green and I'm thinking about buying that as my special water drinking cup but I would have to earn it so I think I'll put it on my poster um, that I have to earn it if I want it for my special drinking cup. So that's my tip of the week. Um, make your water pitcher the night before or your water bottles or however you want to drink your water and you'll be more likely to drink it the next day and thank you Denise for sharing that tip. She puts cucumber in hers. Um, favorite things I also owe this favorite thing to another podcaster. I owe this favorite thing to Dawn from Wolf Farms. She, um, I had placed an order with her at Christmas time for a bunch of candles and soap and stuff like that. And her shop is at wolffarms.net, W-O-L-F-E farms.net. And uh, she sent like a little uh, packet that had like candies and stuff like that. And she also sent a packet of tea. And it's a tea that I, a brand I've tried before, but not a specific tea. This is 
Bigelow Plantation Mint, and it's a spearmint tea. And I've been drinking a lot of peppermint tea, but I haven't really ever tried a spearmint tea. And oh my gosh, I am obsessed, obsessed with this tea. This is what the box looks like. Plantation Mint Bigelow. I got it at Walmart. I'm pretty sure they have it everywhere, any grocery store or whatever. So that is my favorite thing of the week. Thank you, Dawn. Spearmint. Um, let's see what I am watching and reading Star Trek, the next generation. I am on season five, probably about halfway through season five. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Per yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on season five and, um, I'm really, really, really even more behind on podcasts. I, um, for some reason during Lent, I, um, well, I normally make a rule like the last couple of years that I can only watch or listen to three podcasts during Lent, three a day. And I haven't even been doing that. I've been really trying to spend less time on the computer, uh, during this time of year. Uh, Easter is March 31st. So we've got what, three more weeks of Lent and I'm just really enjoying the, uh, being off the computer and being more meditative, I guess you could say, uh, focusing on different things. So yes, I'm super behind on podcasts. I, it's just a sacrifice that I am willing to make at this particular time. So it's, I, it's not that I don't love all the podcasters. It's just, I really need to focus on other things right now. So it has been a pretty productive Lent spiritually for me, which I'm really uh, happy about. Not all of my Lents are what I would consider a success, <laughs> uh, but you know, it's just, it is what it is. You know, some, some years are better than others, just like with everything. So, but this year I think it's going pretty well. That's all I'll say about that. If you ever want to ask me any questions or um, you know, uh, talk to me about different things like that. If it interests you, if you're just curious about it or whatever, definitely feel like you can ask me anything, you know, and I welcome questions from any faith that you don't have to be Catholic to appreciate Catholicism. Just like I appreciate other religions. Um, I think that they all have something to offer. Um, I think I am where God wants me to be. I think that you need to be where God wants you to be. And I think, um, I love learning about different faiths. I think it enriches my own faith to know about other people's faith. So if you ever have any kind of questions, um, definitely feel free to, um, ask. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try to find out for you. Let's see. Okay. I think that's it. We are done. Um, woo, this is short and sassy. We're at 23 minutes or so. So, um, don't forget the shop update is this Sunday, two o'clock, March 10th, two o'clock Eastern time, PM, 2 PM, not AM. <laughs> uh, don't forget to post your workouts in the workout thread and don't forget to post your posters in the, um, poster thread. Uh, I think that's about it. I hope you have a great week. I hope you're having a great Lenten season if you celebrate and keep on crafting. Bye.